walk with Praise me. ye the I am. I will praise the I am with all my whole heart. In the assembly of the upright and in the congregation, the works of the I am are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, his righteousness endureth forever. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The I am is gracious and full of compassion. He has given meat unto them that fear him, and he will ever be mindful of his covenant. He has showed his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. <laughs> the works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure, and they stand fast forever and ever. And they are done in truth and in uprightness. He sent his redemption unto his people and hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. Fear the I am. The fear of the I am is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Psalms chapter 111. Deliver me from the hands of evil spirits who have spray, sway over the thoughts of men's hearts. And let them not lead me astray from thee, my God. Establish thou me and my seed that we go not astray from henceforth and forever. Jubilees chapter 12 and verse 20. Yes, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, those of you on this platform and shared platforms. We thank God for you, you, and you. Yes, we give God the glory and the praise for it all. Because he is worthy of all praise. Yes, yes, yes. That was a beautiful rendition there. But either way, God will never forget his covenant. It is you that have forgot the covenant that you have with God. This is the dilemma that we're stuck with and that we're in. Yes, we're stuck with and we're in this dilemma now. It's not the uh, 400 years that gets rid of the curse. It's your obedience that caused the curse to come off of you. When you leave these denominations of a government that has been as perfect and pure in all of its doctrines and you 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 leave these offshoots like Islam and Christianity and all its offshoots and all the pagan offshoots Buddhism and Zoroasterism and all these other isms when you leave these things and begin to cleave unto the most high you will find peace I'm not talking about Christianity has never made no peace with anybody. I don't care how you put it. Never. There is no peace as wicked as wicked can be. Your Jesus is not who you think he is. There are many lords in this earth. Many owners. Many of those who are in hierarchy. Whether they be flesh or spirit. But there is only one creator. One holy of holies. One Tata and Zambi. One Sanini Nanini. One. I am that I am. Whether you say I. Whatever you put on the suffix of his. Of that. Who he is. He's all in all. Yes. These are the things that we must cleave to. Yes and. We're. I'm going to digress on that. But either way, we thank God. We thank God for those of you that have been with us since the beginning and those of you that have been with us even thereafter and here and there's about. And we thank God for those of you, yes, those of you who have just subscribed to follow. And we thank God for those of you that are about to subscribe or follow, calling those things that are not as though they are. Yes, you're walking with Mr. Clay. I am Mr. Clay. Yes, that's obvious, isn't it? But anyway, but we thank God for you. Yes, we're in the book of Jasher, the last remaining chapters of Jasher, 
I think there were about 91 chapters in the book of Jasher. And we're on the book chapter 88. 91 chapters. We're on 88 of 91. So that's three months. Almost three months. A equivalent of three months. But it's okay. When God gives you that zeal, when he gives you that drive and that push to do what he would have you to do, regardless of whether it's, it doesn't matter who's suppressing or who's shadow banning, it's going to reach who it's going to reach, whom God intended to reach. That's not my concern. I, I, I think about it sometimes, but it's not my concern. That's God's concern. That is absolutely God's concern, not mine. But we thank God for those of you that have liked, shared, and followed. Now, we're in the book of Jasher, the book of Jasher, chapter 88 and verse 21. Yes, and we see here that God has told Joshua or Oshe. Oshe is found in the book of Deuteronomy. I'm going to give you that opportunity to go look it up for yourself. This is in the book of Deuteronomy. I'll give it to you before I finish out this book. Yes, I will. I'll let you know. I've said it in one of my archives. I've said it in one of the lessons. We we went across that. Matter of fact, in the book of Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy. You go you go and look up the book of Deuteronomy. I mean, in the archives. Or you just look through your Bible and look for Oshe. Some of the many of you in Ni this Nigerian, you understand what I'm saying. That name is names that are given to children and to different people in the country of Nigeria. Yes. Oshe. Now, he told them to go around the city, blow the trumpets, and he said one thing. He said, keep yourselves from the cursed thing, lest you make the camp of Israel accursed. And this is the thing that we do. I've reiterated before. When you come in contact with different men, when you come in contact with women that you know not of. See, this is the omission and commission of sins that we don't understand. It's not about, you know, I forgot I committed adultery and I forgot I did it yesterday or I, for I fornicated and did it. Well, I, no, that ain't got nothing to do with it. Oh, I told a lie. That's what you have to say to yourself. But the fact is, when you come in contact with you have to wash anyway and be unclean till the evening because you are living in a uh, heathenistic land. You're touching women that have still on their cycle. Men that have, men that may have AIDS or different type of diseases or venereal or whatever kind of diseases there is. You're touching these things. You don't even know it. They ain't going to tell you. And then some of you in your own homes, you have daughters and wives that you don't even understand about because you don't you don't practice these things. I mean, sometimes you just have to give a big enough house to where she can have her woman time and be to herself. And you take care of the children. Yes, man, you take care of the children. Or else the children have to do that and make sure they wash before the sun goes down and they will be unclean until that time. Yes. These are the practices of Israel. It seems harsh. But this is that you might choose between evil and that which is good and make that discernment. All these things from, I mean, our beards to, I mean, circumcisions to all these things God put down that we might establish some type of order. Not some type, but order. He has established order. Not only in the lives of those around us, but in our private lives. That we might be responsible. Look at Job. Job was, wasn't even a. He wasn't even a. He was an Edomite. Tell you the truth, he was. Look, look in the book of. It's earlier in the book of Jasher. The Edomite. Job was so mindful of the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High that he, he, he just had to. He sacrificed. He made sure. Am I doing this right? Am I? See, he knew he had messed up when he dealt with baby, baby uh, Moses. The toddler. Because he was within that council right there before Pharaoh. The little things. The little foxes. Look, read the law. Know the law. Go through it daily. 
read it. You read a chapter a day of the book of Exodus or the book of Deuteronomy, Numbers, Leviticus. Read these books. Understand the law until it becomes a part of you. People might think, well, you think you're better than us. I am. <gasps> no, no, it's, it's not how you think. I don't have more money than you. I'm not as rich as you. But I, I'm better than you before the Most High because I endeavor to keep his law. To the best that I am able to do. This is why you must look. And those that can sacrifice, sacrifice. A sacrifice of thanksgiving, you take a lamb out, kill him and put him on a fire. If you can do that, do it. See, God, God is not a, he's not a pansy. God is not a coward. But people can be. I, I, I'm a first-hand believer that these, uh, I've witnessed firsthand that people can be cowards. When it comes to standing up for their rights, it and then standing up for those things that are that that are plaguing them. Now you have these Kenyans; they go out and they they they're, they're giving their lives because of something they believe in, something that they know they're standing for. And that is, we are people. We have much in this land, all of Africa, rich beyond measure. Even after all that's been taken from it, Africa is still rich. But yet they're poor because they allow Mzungus and all manner of other people and Arabs to steal from them. Sometimes in my own heart, my own opinion, I think you should push out all the Mzungus. Organize yourselves. Get it right. Redo and reorganize them with the people and voting your constitution. That it may resemble and then put on the end of it, this may not be changed by any ordinance that your people might prosper it's okay if you let them have businesses but oh you got to get out now we got to get our people together go buy yes even in South Africa get out of here your people stole our land you will not have any compensation for this land buy if they want to fight let's fight buddy let's fight let's get it on that's the way you got to do it they, they took your land by force. So the only way you're going to get your land back is by force. That's it. There's no other way. Even here in the United States, there's no, no other way you're going to get your land back is by force. You can talk to these politics all, all you want to. They could give a doggone of a bushweed. No. They don't care. They'll laugh at you, listen to you, go behind your back, and then just get drunk and say, hey, you see that? And they will call you a certain word. It's only by force, because it was taken by force. Even the kingdom of the Most High was taken by force, or at least they thought they was taking it by force. They found out they were just getting used. That was it. That's it. But it's by force. You can try. You can keep going. The force also, force can mean political force. It can mean protesting. Forces, force can be used in many ways. But your project, you have to get to the point where they're pressured. This is what I mean by force. They're pressured. They have nowhere to turn. In other words, like, you, like Brother Malcolm said, by any means necessary. Yes, it's going to depend on the young. Yes, it's going to depend on the young. The old have done it. They tried, but apparently we didn't, we didn't get the memo that what they were doing was a great deception. We didn't get the memo. So all over the world, south, north, east, and west, those who are indigenous of the land will have to take back their land by some kind of pressure. I put pressure. I won't say force. Force is a bad word to use. According to these AI and these liberal deceivers, we put it that way. Not using politically correct words, which politically deceiving words is what they call it. But either way, by force. But regardless, let's get into this thing. Jasher, chapter 88 and verse 21. And the people blew upon the trumpets and made a great shouting, and the walls of Jericho fell down, and all the people went up, every man straight before him. They took 
the city and utterly destroyed all that was in it, both man and woman, young and old, ox and sheep and ass with the edge of the sword. <laughs> oh, God done killed all those people. Look at these sadistic folks. You can't talk, America. You can't talk in Arab. You can't talk in Australia. You can't talk in Europe. You can't talk anywhere. This was because of sin. The Creator caused this to happen. You did that because of greed. Because you have destroyed the place where you come from, and now you want to you have destroyed the places where you went. Pollution. You gotta buy a bottle of water when you didn't give a doggone toots a hoot about how you were throwing contaminants in the water, and now it's another opportunity for business where you sell bottled water. Come on here. Then you begin to go into the lands and down in the Congo and you start taking uranium. And then next thing you know, you didn't give a doggone hoot about the people's water. Now they have contaminated water that you have contaminated. Not only there, but other parts of the continent that you have contaminated. And the people are dying and getting sick. This is not talking of because of your lack of human respect. Yeah, you destroy, you like grasshoppers. Destroying everywhere you go and just using it up and throwing your trash on the ground. This is how you've done the earth. And God said he will take vengeance on them that destroy the earth. You need reference to that? DM me. Now, they killed everything. Didn't have respect for nothing. God told them not to. I don't care whether they're babies. I don't care whether they're ox. I don't care what they say. Oh, they start hollering. Look what they're doing to you in the Congo. Coming from other, your own brethren. Coming. Taking the lands. So it lets you know that it doesn't matter what color you are. Enemies are enemies. And they burned the whole city with fire. Only the vessels of silver and gold and brass and iron they put into the treasury of the I am. Now this is for a time to come. Verse 23, And Joshua swore at the time, saying, Cursed be the man who builds Jericho. Jericho is not built to this day. Because when they went there, they knew they can't build it. Them walls still down, as you've seen in the last video. You seen the first you see the cover the cover of the last video. Well you had parts of ruined Jericho. Now you have you have a built up area by it. Yes. Now he shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn, and in his youngest son shall he set up the gates thereof. They ain't gonna touch that. I'm gonna tell you, this book of Jasher is more of a book of the scripture than any book in the whole Bible. Because it tells you, even though they have tainted it, and it's not true, because these books have, there's, there's two or three witnesses here. There, there are four witnesses. E, book of Enoch, the book of Jubilees, the book of Jashes, and the book of Genesis. Also, the law. The four books that Moses, that are attributed to Moses. All right. Now he says, he says, and his youngest son shall he set up the gates thereof. And the Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zira. Too bad they didn't change those because they were not significant. If you were significant like Joshua, we got to change the name because we don't name our sons like that. Even though his name was Oshi. Yes, uh, See, They're going to take everything to make themselves look righteous and holy, although it's false and fake. And they're stolen the identity of big different people to make themselves look this way. And you have been so bamboozled that you say, oh, they're holy. Just as, let me put it this way. They're the opposite of what they appear. And you're the opposite of what you they say you are. If you believe it and receive it and stand on it and walk in it. Yes, you are a holy people, a righteous nation. Yes. Not all people of color, not all people that are black. No. 
I'm talking about Jacob. He's still here. He's still all over the world. <laughs> Let's make it call a book a book. Now, the son of Judah, and dealt treacherously in the accursed thing, and he took the accursed thing and hid it in the tent. This is Achan. They got an Achan, I think, in South Carolina. I guess that's the cursed place. But either way, <laughs> they named themselves after anything. Well, whatever. And he took the accursed thing and hid it in the tent, and the anger of the I am was kindled against Israel. In other words, he's going to say, you're going to be one people. What you're going to do, you're going to walk according to my, you're going to be what is one entity before me and before the world. If somebody mess with you, they, they, they mess with the whole nation. You're going to see uh, a, a derivative of this in the book of, should I say, Judges. In Judges, there's, there's a part where one mess with just one of the children of Israel and all I mean, most of the children of Israel, they came against a whole other tribe of Israel. And it was just bad. But those of you who have read your Bible and you know, you know what I'm talking about. Many people, they compliment on the Bible and don't know their head from a hole in the ground. Because they, they only go by what they hear or what they have read. And what they want you, some of you know it, but they want you to hear a certain thing. This is why it's so important that you read and study your Bible daily. The books, not just the Bible. I mean, it takes time, yes. But the books, the books, the books, yes, the books. Yes, the books is what we're talking about. Now, it says here now, Achan. He calls havoc to be wreaked on Israel because it's just like a military unit. This is why I say the militancy of the children of Jacob. One does it, you all do it. And this is where many shall be, this is why God told many, you will be either deleted or kicked out of the camp. One of the two. Now in today's day and time, you kick them out the camp. You let an adulterer, fornicator, effeminate, or whatever stay in the camp. You've cursed all the people in that camp. Yes, you have. And 25, and it was after this when the children of Israel had returned from burning Jericho. Joshua sent men to spy out also Ai. They have an Ai in South Africa. I give you that. But that's not the Ai he's talking about. That was set up by colonizers. That's what it was. Because it never was that before then. They have AIs everywhere. They got different names of places where, should I say, they call it named after towns in Israel or biblical names or whatever. That ain't nothing to think about. But does the, this is, this is the thing you got to look at. Does the demogra uh, ge geography of this area match the description of the geography in that particular scripture? And the battle was severe against Israel. And the men of Ai smote 36 men of Israel. And the children of Israel fled from before the men of Ai. Now they're taking over Canaan. And here is this one selfish person. See, this is just like even in you, you can have a cohesion of people in your country. But all you need is one PM. All you need is one leader. Or one who's selling gold to outsiders without going through the country to enrich the people they're just enriching the outsiders of your country the gold whatever the coal train all this here they're going through the middle they're trying to get through the country and help the people and but they're giving they're enriching others and they're selling this stuff for cheap because they're selfish I'm going to get mine. I'm going to get, I don't care what you say. My child going to work. My, my, we're we going to get our food. But that's only food for one day. You have to go out there every day trying to get food for that. When you could start a business off a major business, off of that business, because people have to eat. People need clothes that they wear out when they're working in the mines. People need these things. So these things tend to cause other things to happen. You understand? Do you really understand? So selfishness is not what you should be focusing your mind on. 
And it says in verse 29, And when Joshua saw this thing, he tore his garments. In other words, something ain't right. We have cursed. Something ain't right. We should be winning. God said if we kept his commandments that we, 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 we can fight and we're going to win. I mean, this is what the scripture was telling them. Something isn't right. And he fell upon his face to the ground before the I am. And he with the elders of Israel, and they put dust upon their heads. And Joshua said, Why, O Tata and Zambi, did thou bring this people upon over Jordan? What shall I say after the Israelites have turned their backs against their enemies? Now, therefore, all the Canaanites and inhabitants of the land will hear this thing and surround us and cut us our name. Israel, from the time of Abraham even till now, was known as a very powerful force, even with a small people. <laughs> you don't get it yet, do you? And the I am said to Joshua, Why dost thou fall upon thy face? Rise and get thee off of the Get thee up. Get, 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 get thee off. For Israelites have sinned. He said, this is why you're losing. I will no more be with them unless they destroy the accursed thing from amongst them. Same thing now. You, Where is God? How come he let people die? How come he let this? You're sinning. Your women wearing dress up all the way up, almost halfway up their buttocks. Then you got the men with their pants on the ground. Then you got all these people trying to, you got... You got uh, women selling their bodies and men selling their bodies also. You got grapes and everything else happening in the land, trying to be as the heathen. And you say, where is God? Guarantee you, if you find a few that are living right in such an area, then you say, your Issa say, two or three gathered in my name, I'll be there in the midst. And you got two or three, uh, whole, three or fours, two or three uh, ones that walk out of their gender, two or three who? Two or three in adultery, praying, and they're praying in that name. He's not there in your midst, and he will never be in your midst because he doesn't exist. Even if you were praying the right way, and these Heathen, these people, even of your own people, you stop, you will be blessed when you stop your, should I say, interchangeably uh, socializing with them. You will be blessed if you start receiving and focusing on the I am. Teaching your children to do the same. And only accepting those who are of the same mind, even for your daughters and your sons. So you wonder why Africa does it. Africa was infiltrated by a lot of people from the land of Israel. And this is where a lot of their traditions come from, Israel. Not the Ashkenazis. No, it didn't come from them or any convert thereof. It came from the children of Israel escaping from the tragedy that they've suffered thousands of years ago and these certain they have spread it, their traditions everywhere although some of the traditions are mixed with some of the traditions of others but some of the traditions are carried out in order now before I wrap this up it says now therefore all the Canaanites and inhabitants of the land will hear this thing and surround us and cut us off. And the I am said to Joshua, or Oshe, Why dost thou fall upon thy face? Rise, get thee off, for the Israelites have sinned, and take the accursed thing. I will no more be with them unless they destroy the accursed thing from amongst them. And Oshe rose up and assembled the people and brought the Urim. I don't, nobody really knows what that was. By the order of the I am and the tribe of Judah was taken. And the and Achan and the son of Carmen, Carmi was taken. Now it says a little more intricate thing than the sixty-six books. And Joshua said to Achan, Tell me, my son, what hast thou done with his selfish self? Not thinking, he only thinking of himself. He's not thinking of his people. I see this is the mark of a leader, and this is a mark of one that is really in cohesion with those who are of that group. Tell me, my son. What hast thou done? And Achan said, I saw amongst the spoil a goodly garment of Shinar and 200 shekels of silver. Oh, he saw some money. And a wedge of gold of 50 shekels of weight. 
I desired him, or covered him, as the old English say, and took them, and behold, they are all hid in the earth in the midst of the tent. Oh, I'm going to go back and get them. And Joshua sent men who went to took them from the tent of Achan, and they brought them to Joshua. And Joshua took Achan and these utensils and his sons and daughters and all belonging to him, and they brought them into the valley of Achor. And Joshua burned them with fire. And all the Israelites stoned Achan with stones, and they raised over him a heap of stones. Therefore did he call that place the Valley of Achor. So the anger, the Iam's anger was appeased, and Joshua afterward came to the city and fought against it. Listen, you've got to work together. You are one people. And as long as a person is following that which the I am has said and commanded, you will always be blessed. And with that, we're going to say, and you're going to have some peace. Yes. Walk with me.